The 57 and 61 don't look that far off to me, and yet it seemed like the 13 and the 11 look very close. So while this percent of increase was a little bit higher, I'm kind of questioning if it's really significant because, again, it might not have what we call practical significance. If I looked at the counts, I only have 11 improved in the placebo group and 13 improved in the, in the treatment group. I might think, oh, those counts are kind of close. I, I kind of am not seeing a big difference between the treatment group and the placebo. So this might fall into the category of maybe we have some statistical significance. The percent of increase was a little bit higher, but the maybe it's not practically significant because the counts are very close. Um, this is also why later in the course we'll see that we like, there's other measures of significance that are better than percent of increase. Uh, so for example, uh, two, two population confidence intervals um, are uh, our uh, two-proportion hypothesis test, uh, also p-value, those are all measures that take sample size into account, so they're a little more accurate. Um, so we'll see later on that there's, there's like I say, there's, there's other ways of judging significance than just the percent of increase, but this is something that sometimes people look at. So be careful of practical significance if you're dealing with really small sample sizes. So if I had a 50% you know, increase and I'm dealing with really big sample sizes, I'm going to think, oh, it's pretty, that's going to be practically significant and statistically significant. Um, but if I, if, I, if I see the sample sizes were only 12 people or something, then I might be really careful about making judgments about that might not be practically significant. Okay? So I'm hoping this is helpful for you. So this was Categorical Data Analysis Part 2. And this is Matt to show in Intro Stats. I will see you next time.